that welcome back to the channel yet again right don't forget to smash that like button really hard now what we're going to do today is we're going to do not clean all this polish off we're not doing that because we're just going to leave that what we're going to do is we're going to do another sea foam video but without any sea foam we're going to do it a cheapskate way so first i'm going to take them out i'm going to get a bow scope down there one of them anal probe cameras i'm going to put one of them down and see what any carbon's like inside and then we're going to do our own version of a cheapskate alternative to c4 right, so i've pulled the spark plugs out and if you look down there that's where we're gonna we're gonna put the boss club down but they i mean i think they're in the sump they're that far down um got a long reach socket to get them out but our boss club the battery is flat as ever whenever we need it so i've got it attached to this for now i'm not sure if the wire is long enough to reach down the spark plug socket but we've got that much it's about five meters or something so it might just about make it we'll set pictures of each one and see what carbon's like right we've got our before shots of the uh, the carbon build up and this is what we're going to be using instead of sea foam just carb cleaner so we'll uh, see how that turns out. No, I do need to uh, hold the throttle open a bit, so I'll just find something to... Uh, that'll do! If we wedge this in here, then hopefully it won't break off and get sucked into the in, in, well, sucked into the engine. Hold that there, and it should hold the throttle open enough to give it a spray. Adjusted to perfection. Be hot soaking, but we'll uh, I'm gonna set the plug out and spray some down there as well. And just to show this, which has come out the back, it's probably done absolutely nothing, but it's gone through the engine and sat on the floor behind it. Now, I'm gonna spray some directly in. This should be exciting. Now, I'm not saying you do this because it's, it's going to be washing the oil off the awning marks and seeping past the piston rings into the oil. Um, and it, it, it's probably not going to do any good, but we're going to do it anyway and see what happens. Um, and then we'll turn it over without the plugs in and let it let it come out. And then we'll, we'll see how it goes from there. Spread a bit into each one. I'm not sure if you can see it on here, but it's bubbling away nicely there. Soaking right down into the oil and making that useless. The carb cleaner in there for a while and this is quite a stupid thing to do but i'm quite a stupid bloke so i'm gonna do it anyway leave the plugs out and turn it over to get rid of it and hope it don't go on fire right. now put the plugs in run it for a few minutes and then see what it's like well that was less an idea starting then back to the dancing curb box i missed it in the video well, it's still running, not blown up yet. It seems to be running quite sweet. We're going to see what it's like. Right, so, driving it now after it's been done. And if anything, it actually feels a little bit more responsive. Um, it smelled funny for a bit and smoked for a bit afterwards, but that's cleared up now. But yeah, I don't know, it's not a bit placebo effect, but I don't really think he's done anything. If anything, it's probably from cleaning throttle body. Um, which was a bit gummed up with shit. But yeah, it feels a little bit better. 